Number one, bark up the wrong tree. Its meaning is to have the wrong idea. Its usage. My aunt wants me to become a great musician. However, she is barking up the wrong tree because it's my sister who loves music. Its origin. Dogs would be first sent out to spot prey for hunting. So, if they found some animal scent leading up to a tree, the dog would stand under that tree and bark, not really knowing whether the animal is still up in the tree or not. Number two, being around the bush. Its meaning is to avoid doing the thing or answering a question. Its usage. It was clear that the guide was beating around the bush when he lost his way and started giving vague answers to all our questions. Its origin. During a hunting expedition, the drummers go first beating their drums in order to drive out the animals hiding in the bushes. However, if they beat too hard, the animals escape and they end up beating around the bush for a while but in vain. So, not answering a question directly is called as beating around the bush. Number 3. Bed of Roses Its meaning is a wonderful thing and pleasant thing. Its usage Father says after the invention of the computer, his job as an accountant is a bed of roses. Its origin This saying was invented by the English poets who frequently used it in their poetry. Roses are beautiful, sweet smelling and pleasant. Therefore, a bed of roses is the softest, nicest and most comfortable thing on earth. No wonder then that people got onto the saying. Number 4. Can't see the forest for the trees. Its meaning is to overlook a big thing because of paying too much attention on small things. Its usage. By throwing the banana skin on the road, the old lady kept her bag clean but did not see the forest from the trees and the poor cyclist slipped and broke his bones. Its origin. A forest is green and dense and you can easily get lost. However, if you were to start concentrating on each tree, you would be focused on its leaves and branches and would miss the rest of the forest. In, sim in the similar way, the mind can sometimes become so focused upon insignificant things that it fails to see the bigger picture. Number 5. Come up smelling like a rose. Its meaning is to get out of an embarrassing situation without damaging your reputation. Its usage. The soldier forgot to polish his boots but he came up smelling like a rose by spitting on them and wiping them. Its origin. Whoever wrote this was definitely thinking of someone falling into a pile of garbage but still coming out of it smelling like a rose. It means to get out of some trouble without damaging your name or reputation. Number 6. Gild the lily. Its meaning is to spoil something that is already good. Its usage. Lawrence has too much makeup on her face and now it looks really bad. Why does she have to gild the lily? Its origin. Do you know what gilding means? It means to cover anything with a, with a thin layer of gold. If you cover a lily with a thin layer of gold, it would mar the beauty and scent of the beautiful flower and make it look artificial and ugly. Number 7. Go climb a tree. Its meaning is go away and stop bothering me. Its usage. Kyle had already had three glasses of juice so when he asked for one more, his mother told him to go and climb a tree. Its origin. If someone was annoying you and you wanted him or her to leave you alone, what would you do? You would tell him or her to do to go do something else and stop bothering you. Maybe you would tell them to go fly a kite or climb a tree.
number 8 so your wild oats its meaning is to behave foolishly its usage though mr d looks calm and sensible and hilda said he used to sow his wild oats when he was in college its origin the wild oat is a weed so if you were sowing weeds you must be really crazy because weeds are bad for normal plants so anybody who behaves foolishly is sowing his wild oats this saying is mostly used to describe the foolish things we do in our youth number 9 through the grape wine its meaning is gossip or rumors its usage through the grape wine diana became aware that all of her friends were planning to play a big practical joke on her its origin a grape wine as the name suggests is is a long creeper in the same way that it winds along from a bunch of grapes to another news of uh, news or gossip can travel from one person to another number 10 turn over a new leaf its meaning is to make a new beginning and correct yourself its usage uncle xavier used to smoke both cigars and cigarettes but now he has given up this this habit and has turned over a new leaf its origin i am sure you know that a leaf is the small thing that grows on trees yes but it also means a page of a book when do people turn over to a new page when they want to write or read something new like getting a fresh start so friends in this video we learned about idioms on plants and flowers and in my next video we are going to learn idioms on the parts of the face if you like my video so don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel bye bye